Down at the market, my local farmer tells me how my food is grown and comes to me. Not far from the city, the farmer is my neighbor. The freshest food is grown locally. There's a party in the kitchen, something smells good. I wonder who the chef could be. It's the kids in the kitchen. Kids in the kitchen. Kids in the kitchen. Kids are in the kitchen cooking something yummy. And before the show, I was privileged to be able to catch up with international celebrity chef Gabriel Gattay at Toscano's in Kew. He'll be joining us throughout the season with wonderful tips on how to select fresh fruit and veggie for his special recipes. The mango, this is one of the most extraordinary fruit in the world. It is actually my very, very favorite fruit, especially when it is ripe. When you choose a mango, it must not be too hard. If it's too hard, it's not ripe. It must be soft. A little bit of of color is always a good sign. And of course, it smells very good, very sweet. I have got a dish that is very simple to prepare. It's an, an exotic fruit salad. It's called mango tango. What I do is that with a knife, I peel the mango, I cut the flesh into very thin slivers and mix it with other fruits of the season of your choice. The recipe is delicious and it's very easy to prepare. This is Trisha Zemo with Kids in the Kitchen. We're at the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden at Whedon Heights Primary School. And I have two celebrity chefs here today. I've got Liam. Hi. And Tara. Hi. And they're going to be cooking two delicious things. They're going to be doing a juice with celebrity chef Gabrielle Gatte and a lovely tomato and basil bruschetta with Chef Ange. There's only one problem. Where's, Where's Carity? Find Carity. Okay, I'll go down here. Carity! Carity, it's not time to be playing hide and seek right now. Why are you hiding up there? I heard that Gabriel Gattay was coming and he was going to make juice. Carrot juice! Not carrot juice, fruit juice! Oh, that's Silly right. Carity! <laughs> but we still need to find Basil as well, Carity. Yeah, yeah where's Basil? Basil? Yeah, I know where Basil is. Let's go find her. Basil! Hey. good for Carity. Oh, Tara, well, you'll find that basil is high in antioxidants. Do you know what antioxidants are? No. They're very good for strengthening our immune system so we stay nice and healthy. Do you know what else people use basil for? Um, no. People like to put, what do you have in the shower? Soap. Soap. Shampoo. And shampoo. People like to put basil in their soap, soap and shampoo. Isn't that a bit weird? No, because people really like the smell of it. Just like we really like the smell and taste of it in our food. Shall we pick some? Yeah. Great. Why don't you get out your secateurs? Those look pretty good. They look delicious. You've got some now. Good job. Shall we go and get some tomatoes with Leah? Yeah. Yay! Let's go and find Leah. First I have to close my secateurs though. Good girl. That's our safety tip. Charity, what's that in your mouth? Oh, I'm having... <laughs> I've been picking tomatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Fresh from our garden! Have you got any more in there, Charity? No, no more in here, but I've got some Roma tomatoes here for you, Leah. Do you oh, want to pick them? Yeah, okay. Should I pick the red ones or the green ones? Which ones do you think? I think the red ones. Beautiful! Give them a little twist and a pull. Bit hard, I'll hold this for you. Good job. How many? As many as there are red ones. Last one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, uh, eating fruit is always very exciting because they are very juicy, so it is easy to eat. They are very sweet, so we all love them, and they have a distinctive flavor. Now, what's your favorite fruit? 
Um, strawberries. Strawberry. Well, it is really good because today we are going to make a strawberry, watermelon, and pear fruits. And Ooh. yes, it is <laughs> exciting. And it is good to mix several fruits and to mix the several fruits with different colors so you get a new color when you make the juice. Do you mind to cut some watermelon into small pieces? What we are going to do, we are going to use a juicer. Uh, Tara is going to cut the watermelon into small pieces and I'm going to wash some strawberries because when you uh, eat strawberries, you need to wash them. They have been growing in the sand, so there's always a little bit of grit on them and there's a good technique that is better than the others where you put some water in a bowl and then you put the strawberries in the water like that. I'm okay. Yeah, it's quite, they, they usually float and then with your hand very gently you push them in like that so the grit falls in the bottom of the water and then with your fingers you lift them out. You don't remove the water into the sink but you need to lift them out so the grit stays in the bowl and that is really good to do that. Now we are also going to use some pears and how do you recognize that a pear is ripe? Do you remember? Um, yellow? Yeah, yellow yes. is the, the ripest. This is a William pear. It's good to know the pears by the name of their variety. And you can see one is a bit greener and one is a bit more yellower. And when it is yellow, it is really ripe. Okay? And when it is very yellow, it's usually too ripe and they get damaged very, very quickly. So we are going to use like some... this one? Yeah, it is a bit damaged. So you see that like, this is very lovely. It's bruised. So what we do yeah, in that case is that you remove, you cut off the bruise, right? Yeah. Because it's a pity to throw Shave a fruit. Because, so you just trim it like that. And what we are going to do for the juice, we are going to use the skin because the skin is good. We have washed the pear. And I'm cutting, I'm just trimming the core like that, all right? And then I'm going to put, it, put them directly into our juicer, the pears like that. So it's very simple and you use one of your paring knife for that. It's very safe and it's a bit easier to cut it in your hand. You just concentrate on what you do and then you don't hurt yourself. I have found myself that after being a chef for how many years? Almost 40 years. I have only cut myself when I've been distracted. So if I look at what I'm doing, I don't cut myself. Do you want to uh, cut a few uh, pieces of uh, watermelon so we can just place them in that and while you do that I will also cut uh, trim the strawberries remove the the stalk of the strawberries it's going to be very exciting yeah. what are the fruits do you love um, is mango a fruit mango is a beautiful fruit I it's like one of my favorite fruit and mango makes some wonderful juice do you want to put um, yeah. yeah, put a piece on and then what we do, put a couple maybe, we're even going to push like that. And do you want to hold that? Okay. And I'm going to turn that on now. This is the action. This is so magic. Look at this. It smells nice. It smells so wonderful. It's a pity you can't smell. And look at this because we have put first um, the pears, so the juice has got some pears at the bottom and some uh, uh, strawberries and watermelon. Do you want to have a taste? Okay. That's good. It's so delicious, isn't it? Well, that's it. It is so simple. You can use all kinds of fruits like pineapple, mangoes, pears, apple and strawberries, blueberries, almost everything, as long as you trim the things that you will not drink. So that is it for that. Now, just after us, we are going to have Ange and Carothy. They are going to prepare a basil and rosemary pesto with Tara and Leah. <laughs>